Drop caps are used within a document to mark the start of a story or section. A drop cap consists of a character or a group of characters which are enlarged to become several lines deep. In Quark Express you can apply a drop cap in two ways. Firstly, you can apply it as a paragraph format and secondly, you can apply it as a paragraph style. Paragraph styles are particularly useful where you have long documents where each section, for example, will start with a paragraph that has a drop cap. Let's look first of all at applying a drop cap as a paragraph format. First of all, you position the cursor in the appropriate paragraph. Since this is a paragraph format, there's no need to select the paragraph. It will apply to the paragraph as a whole, regardless of whether the paragraph is selected or not. From the Style menu, you then choose Formats. And in Quark Express, the word Formats can really be substituted for Paragraph. On the right hand side we have drop caps and you'll notice that there are two settings. How many characters do you want to enlarge and how many lines deep do you want the character or characters to be? So in this case our paragraph starts with a three letter word. Let's try enlarging all three letters. So we put the char character count to three. When we click on the apply button you'll notice that the entire word is enlarged. The second parameter is the line count. How many lines deep do you want the enlarged characters to be? Let's try two. Again we click on apply and you'll notice that the characters are now two lines deep. Let's just change that back to one character and let's try four lines deep and this time we'll click OK. Since the drop cap is an attribute of the paragraph, if I change the paragraph so that there is a different word at the start of the paragraph, the first character in that word will always become the drop cap. So now you'll notice we have a word beginning with H and the H automatically becomes the drop cap. Let's just undo this. And now let's have a look at applying a drop cap using a paragraph style. So from the window menu I'll choose Style Sheets. And now let's create a new paragraph style. We'll call it drop caps and let's base it on one of our existing styles, the body text. It will now inherit all of the attributes of body text in addition to the attributes that we now specify. The only attribute that we want is drop cap. So we click on the formats tab, switch on drop caps and let's leave the character count at 1 and increase the line count to 4. Then we click OK. To apply the paragraph style, again there's no need to select the entire paragraph since it applies at the paragraph level. We can just make sure that the cursor is in the correct paragraph and we click on the style. The nice thing about style sheets is that if you edit the style and change its attributes. Wherever you've applied that style within the document, the text will be updated. This makes style sheets extremely useful where you have long documents with the same formatting occurring again and again. Let's say for example that we've used our drop caps paragraph style several times throughout the document and we now decide that four lines deep is actually too large and we'd like our drop caps to be three lines deep. We simply edit the paragraph style, make our change, and
and wherever we've used that style, the update will filter through.